It was a terrible time for Wu Qin, the crown prince of the Qin dynasty and its lands. His favorite uncle, the current emperor, Qin Shi Wang, was on his deathbed due to a lethal poisoning. Wu Qin was constantly by his side and did nothing but care for and answer his uncle's calls. The people of the empire were confused and were becoming disunited due to the absence of their beloved emperor. Oh, uncle, do not know the despair I am in. I promise to avenge your death. <coughs> yes, my son. I too am in great despair and depression. I never should have gone hunting without my servants. I should have known better. I should have known that some of our people don't like us because of our great wealth and prosperity. No, my uncle, no, this is not your fault. How could you have ever known that slimy pig would poison you? Please don't die. You care more about me than my own father. You will soon be the greatest leader that this dynasty has ever seen. I can tell by the way you live and regard other people, and how you care for your wife and children, even in the patriarchal society we live in today. Thank you, uncle. But quickly, don't waste your energy and tell me what you request of me, my beloved uncle. First, my nephew, I request that you retrieve the sword of Jian from that bloody Mongol warlord, Chinggis, that poisoned me. I want you to bury the sword of Jian with me. It is our family's most prized heirloom. Second, I request that you murder that Mongol warlord and his entire tribe. For if you fail to do so, our very empire will cease to exist. Of course, uncle. I will retrieve the sword of Jian in the perfect condition and bury it with you. I shall also unleash my wrath on the Mogul tribe. They will wish that they rather be burned alive than face my punishments. This I promise you, my beloved uncle. Thank you, Wu Chen. I will never forget you, even in the afterlife. I will look out for you. <laughs> no! Your new emperor, Wu Qin. Listen here, my subjects. I am your new emperor. My beloved uncle has passed away. I now have to set on the quest to avenge my uncle and retrieve the sword of Jian and bury it with him. Now, I need a companion to help me on my quest. Who is coming with me? My name is Shi Quan, and I will accompany you, my emperor. Come, my friend, and let us go pray to Min Tuan. Oh God, oh God, great Min Tuan, please accept this offering. Bless us and help us on our quest. Help me fulfill my uncle's wish. Yes, my child, I will help you on your long and arduous journey for the sword of Jian and to defeat the Mongol warlords that ravaged your uncle. Thank you, oh great God. Come, let's take our leave. The horses are ready. Yes, my lord, let us set off before dark. Two adventurers catch up to the escaping Mongol warriors near the northern border within just four hours with the help of the god of the gods, Min Tuan. Look, there are so many of them. Whatever can we do, my emperor? There's only a hundred. This is easy peasy. Let's do this. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Ow! Oh! <laughs> Ow! Oh! Die! Oh! 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 I'm so sorry for brutally murdering your uncle. I will spare you under one condition. What is it? Tell me where the sword of Jiang is. Oh, I, I kind of gave it to Ding Dong the dragon. Oh, you fool! Oh. <laughs> the two then stumbled upon a Mongol village and are deciding what to do. <gasps> what are you doing here? You're not welcome here. You're the cruel emperor. Get out of my town. Come on, Shikwan, let's plunder this village. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> loot, fresh loot. We must pray to the god of war, Wing Kong, to help us on our quest. Yes, yes. Oh, god of war, Wing Kong, help us defeat the dragon Ding Dong and help us retrieve the sword of Jiang. Give us strength and clear the way of his cave of treasure. Give the queen path without any trouble so that we may bring back the sword.
So Wu Chen and Shi Quan set out in search for the lair of the evil dragon Ding Dong. Shi Quan, look, it's an oracle bone. Let's inscribe a question on it. Okay, sure. Where is the dragon Ding Dong? Now we must burn it. Fire! Oh, it said. It says to go to the artist's mountains. Where is that? I think I have heard of this mountain before, but my uncle, he told me it resides in the great mountains of the west. We are running low on supplies. We must go to a new village and restock. No problem, we'll, we'll definitely find the village in the way, middle of the way, and I will plunder it. I will kill all the men and enslave all the women and children. Meanwhile, the civilians of the plundered villages are angry at their emperor, and they go pray to Min Tuan, the god of the gods. Oh, Min Tuan, god of gods, please help us. The evil emperor Wu Chin kills our people and takes over our homes and takes everything from our farms. We all dread his coming. Wu Chin was a good emperor, but it seems like he's losing his ways. Lu Sheng, come! Yes, my lord. We must obliterate of Emperor Wu Chin. He is not worthy of his position. Yes, I will send them to the underworld to live for eternity. Thank you. On their way to the mountain, the two adventurers reached a village at the very end of their empire on the banks of the Yellow River. Oh my! What have we done to deserve this? My whole town has flooded! Oh gods, have mercy! Oh, Emperor Wu Chin and your loyal companion, Chi Quan, help us! Our whole town is flooded, as you can see. The Yellow River has no mercy. Wu Wang Ma is killing us! We must venture to the bottom of this great powder river. Yes, yes, people. I agree. Please, please. The two venture into the overflowing river. Come on, go. Let's go. How deep does this river go? It doesn't matter. Let's go. Wu Chen and Chi Quan swam down way too much and are now in the underworld, the realm of the god of death, Lu Shang. Peace on this earth. What? Sheep one, catch! Chin and Wu Wing Ma leave the underworld and resurface to the land, and now floodwaters are receding. Oh, Wu Wing Ma, this is a very sad day. Look at Chi Quan. He has died trying to save you from the Lord of Death. No, this is very bad. I promise that I will avenge the brave warrior Chi Quan's death. Will you be my new companion, Wu Ling Ma? Of course! I will help you on your quest to find the whereabouts of the Sword of Jia. However, at certain times in battle, you must fend for yourself. Why, Wu Ling Ma? Because the God of Gods, Min Tuan, has given us limitations, and if pushing these limitations will offend him. Why would it offend Min Tuan? Because he keeps us in check, our power in check, just like he keeps you humans' power in check, using the mandate of heaven. Wu Chen meets an artisan who warns him about more trouble. Watch out the slaves that are rebelling! We demand more rights. Your uncle gave us freedom, but it was never enough for us. Your place in society is to stay slaves at work, not to get rights. But it's not our fault we're born as slaves. It's not fair. This social system is unjust. This social system will never be fair. You are slaves and you will remain slaves. You were born in this family and now you will work for your masters. Clear or suffer the consequences. Never! Oh my, we 
should never have rebelled against you. We should have accepted our place in society as measly slaves. Okay, I accept your apology, but if this happens again, it'll be end. In exchange for this behavior, tell me where to find Ding Dong the Dragon and I will let you go. Also, tell me who directed you to rebel. Ding Dong the Dragon is found in the Onyx Mountains in his treasure of caves. I was directed to rebel against you only from the one and only Lu Shang, the god of death. I've returned to make you suffer. Come at me, bro! Your powers are useless! Oh no, you've defeated me again. I know you're planning to fight the dragon Ding Dong, and I'll make that fight so much harder for you. After this ordeal, Wu Chen went on to fight the dragon Ding Dong and retrieve the sword of Jian. After traveling a hundred leagues every day, they arrived at the foot of the Onyx Mountain. Oh, wait, Ma. I see the entrance to the cave. It's here. Yes, we must hurry and enter the cave before nightfall, for Lu Sheng may close the entrance if we are too late. <laughs> Look, Wu Wing Ma, all this treasure. All this gold, I could take it back to my kingdom, and nobody would have to work for years. Yes, but don't forget to get your main quest, the Sword of Geo. Oh, it's the sword. Let's get it. Okay, but we must be careful, for Ding Dong the dragon could appear at any moment. I am the mighty Ding Dong. What are you doing in my lair? I have come to take what is rightfully <laughs> mine. The sword of Geo and all the gold. I will use it to make China control the world. Never. This is my kingdom, not yours. I decide who owns what. You'll burn to death in this tomb. No, you will die first. Spare me. I'll give you back the sword. You have caused too many problems to me and my people, so you must die. Ugh. Die, you dragon! You stupid dragon! I have killed the mighty dragon Ding Dong! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Take that! You're the dead dragon! You understand? After killing Ding Dong and finding the sword of Jian, Wu Chen then returns to his home in the capital city of Shenyang. Greetings, my dear people. I have returned from my travels. And look, I've brought the sword of Jian. I will bury it with my uncle. Also, I have saved our empire. From the evil dragon Ding Dong, the evil Mongol warlords who, uh, who I have slain, and the, the river will not flood ever. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. 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 Chen finally gets to bury the sword of Jian with his uncle and rules peacefully for 20 years and builds the Great Wall of China during this time. But now, Wu Chen is about to face his final adventure. Oh, what a wonderful day it is. A wonderful day for a wall. Today marks the 20 year return of my, ah, of my return from King Dogs there. Who is, oh Lord of Death, why have you come? All these years you have defied me. Now it's your time to die. No, my people need me. Ah. Finally killed you after 20 years. Now come with me, spirit of war. We have a journey to make to the underworld. And so here ends the epic tale of Wu Qin, the great emperor of China. But his story will be immortal and will always remain in the hearts of the people of China and hearts of listeners like yourselves.